Spades, it's your girl Joy, back with another banger. Yes, you can tell I am at school. It's like I, I just want to get things done, wrap my brain around certain things before the kids come back. So, listen, 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 listen. This is what happened. Listen, listen, I listen. I, sometimes I just can't help myself. I know what y'all say. Hey, don't do that now. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. But sometimes things just be happening, bro. I was in Hobby Lobby, minding my business. I was, y'all. I was minding my business for real. So, I saw something in Hobby Lobby. I was like, oh. And I saw this table, right? She cute. And it's kind of like a stand-up table. And I have wobble boards that I did not bring out this year for the kids because I just have to wrap my brain around all of this child so anyway because they, they don't really respect your things anyway listen 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 calm down calm down so I sort of say I'll say it says $69.99 I was like oh, 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 oh. I can't leave that table for $69.99 that's a good price right oh so I need the table Right, and we carry it up to the front. I was like, right? I was like, and then when she rang everything up, and she was like, your total for everything, because you know we had other things, right? We was like, one hundred and sixty-seven dollars. You said what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? The table says sixty-nine ninety-nine. She said, no, miss, you got to look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. It's a different price at the bottom. You know, like almost double. So I was like, mm -hmm. <sighs> But I already had it set in my mind. So I was like, I got to put that on layaway, make payment plans or something. But because I already carried it all the way to the front from the back, I couldn't possibly take it back to the back because that would have been embarrassing. So, so I was like, okay, okay. So, Bay Daddy got the table, right? I said, I said, I'll, I'll pay you back because you know that wasn't in my budget. I, I, I'll pay you back. So, anyway. I wanted to come up to school and figure out where I was gonna place it to move other things around. You know, you gotta keep the kids on their toes too. And I do it for me because I like it. So ultimately, my classroom is because I like it and I'm hoping that it makes an impact on the children. So I want this to be a stand-up table for my little auntie kids, you know what I mean? So now I'm just thinking, I'm just wrapping my brain around the room because I have to create my new seating chart and I can't quite create the seating chart if I don't know where I'm gonna place this in the room because when you place something in the room, you move stuff around. So that's where I am. I'm in that thinking phase. My brain is going like a computer and I have to figure out where I'm gonna place it. So right now it's in front of the door. Once I figure it out, I'll let you know. Bye guys, I know you've seen the room before but I moved this around. I moved this bookcase here so the book's a little more accessible to the kids. I may use this for handouts. Um, I've had these this so long. So I moved this table up here. So now that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six seats. And then I brought in this little baby right here. And then this is the wobble board where my little antsy kids can see, sit here. But sometimes they end up doing this. But they're still paying attention, but it's a distraction to me. Oh, but you gotta be good with it. You gotta be good with it. And so I think uh, they'll enjoy that. And I'll see. There's some kids who just love to stand. Then we, we put this stuff over here. Show this section. Huh? The bikes, I need to get a new arms and cranks for the bikes, for one of the bikes, because the pedals just won't stay on. And put a bookcase here. It's not that neat. And put this here for books, a little more accessible. This I changed a little bit. The fire marshal said I had to get rid of my little green 
thing. So I'll be looking for a green one that's not shag. Just a section off this area. I just got issues, y'all. You know I got issues. And then I'll do a little sign here for Reed. And I made this years ago. And so I put it up here as a reminder for the kids. I don't know. And so this is a nice little section. But the only thing with this area right here, this seat is not conducive to seeing what I'm doing on the board. So therefore, when they, when they get into small groups or working on projects, they can sit, you know, two people can sit here. But while I'm doing my lesson and them seeing the board, no, it's not a good idea. And I tell them that's not good. But these two are fine. So, yeah, so I have that and the stage, everything else is the same. So what I did, this wasn't, you know, guys, I've been trying to deal with this for a while. This broke down here. All the shelves came off of this one. So I just stacked them this way and I just took the doors off. I took the doors off of this and put them behind here, here the doors. So I'm probably coming again tomorrow because I'm going to do something else to the room and I will let you know um, this exciting technique that I'm using which will also be part of classroom management. So I'm excited about that. So I'm gonna get out of here. My principal is gonna be leaving soon. I don't want any alarms going off. All right guys, until next time, thanks for watching.